the light that never goes out. Within the soul the heart is the strongest force. It is the only place to put our minds in charge of. For the mind is our tools to control our actions and will. The heart must simply support this. If this is the not the case, we must feel our emotions and create boundaries to protect our energy centers. Or we may become mentally, emotionally and physically weak. Controlled by all outside influences, sometimes unknowing. The doubts we face must be looked at gently. And where we are willing to adapt to situations based upon them. Rid the opposite ways. For win-win situations. Not settling for any kind of win, lose or lose, win. If we find ourselves in the unsavory situation, and when our heart controls your personal will, the other source of influence, whether it be a belief for example or a mind control tactic from another, will hold no power. For it will be obvious to our outer reality and we will react subconsciously in a defensive manner. As you are now competent with holding a subtle energy flow between your view of reality and subconscious feelings of reality, you are in control of the direction of all your choices you make and where from the past can guide you to further your earthly experiences. If others know not seek to understand your reasoning or dismiss unknowing your desires, it is best to let them observe and not become engaged in proving your point. For that is only dampening your spirit and keeping you from holistically living. Voicing why an action is better than action when one is still discovering the depths of their subconscious can empower rather than a direct dogmatic approach. As we all come from various backgrounds with an array of experiences we yet understand, and it is not understanding all and knowing all the logic behind such matters, it is keeping an eye on what once was and what we gained from these things, which helps us stay present and striving for a better existence better than what once was. Helping keep balance and always working from a place of peace and love of serenity will help us receive insights. Taking care of the body, mind and spirit while experiencing reality will not only please ourselves through the lives in which we are a part of. There is no first prize or gold medal for being an image of perfection. For doing all the right things at the right times with the right people. The drive behind why we do the things we are compelled to do. Why we choose to listen to bossa nova music at 4 a.m. in the morning? To annoy our neighbors and show off? Or to spiritually renew for the day? Or maybe because we have attachment to a feeling associated with doing things? For a personal example. I could not grasp why sometimes a sensational feeling would come over me and pull at my chest and heart strings when engaging with a certain individual. I wrote it off and assumed it was because we had different perceptions of reality and different life experience and we kind of would speak a different language, mismatched communication styles. Which may have well been the case, though I felt there was something more to it than that. To pull away of these personality and ego-based realities there was soul. Our souls, both existing side by side in this humanity rat race. I realized it was not me reacting to whether someone had vast knowledge of distant African culture and traveled afar or not. Or if someone built their whole existence on making hip-hop music to change the world. It was our connection, it was our energy, past, present and future and how we related was purely on that. It may have been beautiful it was had the same interests and moral values. Though it was the energy interaction which matched or was challenging. I understand that many people have a desire and real struggle keeping pure and getting caught up with how the world perceives them. We are not here to make judgments of others, they can do that very well themselves, it is in our best interest to be our best and help others be their own, in their own unique way. I do not recommend it cutting ties with past people or situations, or using them to fuel dogmatic behavior to shame or berate. We must come to terms with this, it does take not only a strong sense of purpose, self-esteem and real empathy and self-understanding. We are here now right now to make this journey or ours together even if we share different ways of doing so, we exist for a purpose to serve our highest good and the potential we possess is not only our own, it is entwined with all reality beyond time and space. Embrace and learn from within and share your journeys. Atlanta Bailey.